dialogue noise. <laughs> I didn't really notice that. <sighs> Jump straight from purple to green. It flats me, but you know. Yep. What can yep. you do? Well, we are. We played blue. We did play blue. So technically, besides, you know, if Air Max is not about following the rules. That's absolutely true. Unrest the in the Dakotas. Dispatch Ooh. equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where Says we start, the, the video game the characters, National Consortium of Smart Adventure People who are good with computers characters. has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. I also really still like that. <laughs> Wait, what about a uh, point and click adventure character? That scores of pasty white nerds will have to go outside and ah. socialize with normal people. Like, who do you think wrote that line, you know? Right. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pipe. <laughs> Hungry, Leonard? <laughs> okay, maybe later then. So this is after the thing, so click on Jesse James's hand. Because I still think it's hilarious. What are you doing? I'm trying to move left. Why? So I can leave? Why didn't you click on Jesse James's hand? Oh, whoops. I wanted to, I, I asked you to. You can't hear, I guess. It's really loud. There it is. Jesse James's actual hand. No, remember that Carbon Dater said it was only a few Jesse years Jesse James's old. actual hand. Amazing. I just love that. I feel like it's louder than it was before. Do you want to turn it down? Yes. Okay. Is that too quiet? Uh, it's fine for now, they're not talking, so we'll find out. Alright. Do I have to go to Bosco? I forget. Let me think. I should probably go to Sybil's first. Right? Probably. But I mean, you don't remember, like, this is... Just treat it like it's new. This one is... We didn't even get... You don't even know what's going on, so... Oh, no, that's right. Hold on. Oh, so I should go do contact stuff? Do what stuff? Contacts. Like... Like, go to Sybil's, learn what the problem is, go to Bosco's, and... Because I'm going to Bosco's to get the thing first. I mean, good luck. I'll commit. I'm over here already. I mean, you still don't know what the end goal is, right? So no, no, no. Might as well just, you know... Yeah, but until we get there, I'm going to try and get us there. Just saying. Enjoy. There's, you know... Sludgies. This week's flavors? Potion of giant strength and elixir of dwarven flatulence. False advertising! I've drank a gallon of the red potion and I still don't have giant strength. Actually, the giant strength is the green one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck the Bosco. Nice, that's what I got. Okay. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend watchman for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight or flight response. I know Fair is with an E. I am El Basco Drill. The I have never seen that in real life. Half -elf yeah. But it feels right, you know. Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? I should know that. Elf. 
And I'll I assume it's some what. kind of I've had laser. multiple delivery conspiracies. Or I've had missiles you know, aimed at me. Something you put and into somebody before you take them to the arms dealers the setting house. up shop in my uh, store. Point being, it's not safe for me here anymore. I got to take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. Yeah. What does this internet do, Hickey, have to do with being an elf? Oh, elf. It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf or an orc or a hot young 15-year-old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I didn't think it was possible. Only if you're playing RuneScape. less creepy as the elf. Half elf, fool! I never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. Yeah, yeah. There's a little fantasy world inside of every computer. You're taking your story We all have to Where become be fantasy creatures. We fear and mistrust computers. RuneScape. Don't worry, guys. My oh, I was like, they, they are now? <laughs> at thrice the I just remember um, killing well, a lot of chickens. That's all I ever did in RuneScape. And I, so I got some chicken. To mm. get, to get chicken we want to eat, buy you know? I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Do you have any dual-core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Do you have any chimpanzee-sized diapers? Nay! You just gotta wonder what's going on in Sam's brain. Do you have any barbecue plankton chips? Nay! Do you have any keychains with a plus eight modifier to dexterity? I wish. <laughs> Do you have any self-respect? Nay! Haha, <laughs> tricked you! No, I understood the question. I understood it all too well. <laughs> you sure do know how to suck the fun out of everything, Bosco. Uh, oh dear. It's so depressing. Do you have any Lombos? He's stale! You know what that means? No. Maybe it's a New York Do you thing. have any dual core process? Nate! What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right! Mm, biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I don't know why that makes me to laugh. stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer's gonna open well, up shop in truthful. my store, I've gotta up the ante. All right. How much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? <sighs> One <sighs> billion dollars. We'll take it. What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. All right. One second thought. Nothing Bye. for us now. As thy wish. But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torch wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment. It just makes me think about all those videos where it's like Skyrim but in real life and then you have somebody and like it's just like they're like fighting and then the guy's like stop wait one second and he sits down and he has like a million apples and he just starts eating all the apples mm -hmm. and the other guy has to like wait for him to do it. Like, I don't know, I think that's See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defender of the Sire! Well, oh, if it isn't Jimmy. our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm tough. Oh, I didn't care. Yeah, I was he wondering was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm scared out of my wits. You gonna buy something or what? He says to the people he won't sell to. What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest an interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh yeah? Where? I always think of everything just in terms of on a completely lawless universe, like from scratch. You know, so I think arms dealer sounds like a perfectly reasonable profession to me. Mm. You know, like, because everyone needs to defend themselves, right? Like, I don't think about it in terms dealer? of, like, whether or not that makes sense. It's not That's a good point, actually, yeah. you guys. Like, I don't in the world of Sam and Max, I would say arms dealer is probably a pretty but we're just reputable barely profession. Yeah, i seen how you guys would. I sell it to you, and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. Want to know a fun fact? Same Free guy plays Bosco plays Mr. Jimmy Teeth. Teeth. You're oh. under arrest. Come along quietly and we'll only use excessive force instead of medieval. Just try it, pigs. 
Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing what about that doing? of yours, mister. <laughs> Is he like watching our conversation up close? I don't know what he's doing. Who is lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out DC's a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. Are you still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist view. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of reasons. See you later, Jimmy. Maybe if you can find me. Don't touch my binoculars. I'm trying to remember how I get that cannon. Hey, hands up! Yeah, it's confusing, isn't it? Ooh. And as he reloads, oh, that's right. okay. bam! Ooh. Oh, what? Not you were too slow. Do it right away. Yeah. I think I clicked on the cannon by accident. I'm now. stuck! Maybe. As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. That's <laughs> such an ominous way to say it. And in the moment, we have no context for helping Civil, so what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, Jimmy doesn't know either way. This gumball machine looks pretty banged up. A gang of about five dentists came through the other night, and four of them just started beating the hell out of it. What did the fifth one do? He kept sobbing and saying, why can't we all just get along? Oh, that's supposed to hit Civil in the head. With a rat. Right from a cannon. Liver and onions. Cancel and use lack of interest. I mean, I wouldn't. It doesn't sound interesting to me. No, nor me. In fact, that sounds like the kind of thing where I would have an excuse not to go to something. Where you'd hey, be so like, have you oh, I know I can I'm stay home it. this month Lightning because the bolt. only thing playing Lightning is liver and onions and it none of my friends like are going to invite me to that because crack. nobody wants it's to see about it. Time. It's supposed to be fun that we would want to see and I can get myself emotionally like, ready bad. to go Back party or something. demons mm. with sword of righteous fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smite. <laughs> BBs. To break her out of the I'm trying trance, to think of what that would look like. Would blow to her head. Like teeny you know, tiny Sam, little. You love um, what you do, like it doesn't feel that. like work. Yeah, really. <laughs> Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't get close enough to touch her. Max. I have a solution to that. Max, like, story of my life. <laughs> Ow! A tool for you. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? <laughs> Wake up! I don't know what that could possibly. From wacky techno uh... Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? Yep. It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look, you broke them! And I haven't even paid off the deposit! Alrighty. Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more right? elaborate terms to my technology challenge to little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. Hmm. 
Who are you working for? Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars! We're all the police this neighborhood needs! And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for... well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it! These cops guys <laughs> must really be behind our computer it crisis. Like, it's like, why would you ask that? What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed Clock. before release. You think she would have like mentioned it the first time we met her to do or something? All you do really is weird. go through like, Don't mind my clock, or it would be part of a puzzle or something. Wrong. But no, it just I was is a there. therapist. Remember? Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? They're not so bad, as long as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you guys I ever know, right? actually played one? They make players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. <laughs> I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were hypnotized. Typical anti-game propaganda. Man, I would love, fine. I would kill I wish it to see Sam and Max have a, like, they had a gaming channel, on a, a YouTube gaming Today's channel. <laughs> like, just imagine. Sam and Max play XYZ. Yeah, that would be so... You've been playing that game for yes. an entire week. I wanted to play story <laughs> games and make decisions and just, like, they would do it like nobody else would, I'm sure. Oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This like, their logic to make choices, I feel like, would be impossible to guess. I don't want this job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly, and you call yourself an addict. You got so mad. Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. You better click that again so that I can use that joke again. Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way <laughs> too much repetition, though. Yay! What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, and that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. And I'd bet Max's annual salary they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. Maybe I think that the soundtrack is annoying because it's the same in like this street song, like this do do do, you know yep. that? Like that's it for the next two seasons, including this one. Not two seasons. But. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press one now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press. Now. So it's such a bummer because these are like funny robot characters and I like them, but if only they didn't turn on Max. I think we stumbled into like, it's the not that personal, but it's still makes erotic know. movies. Proximity alert! Hello, and welcome to the computer obsolete. You know who Steve Wozniak is? Take your business. Uh. What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Symbol P A N D E M I K. Inductee 48,726. 5. She's enjoying reality 2.0. Rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! If you'd like to join the internet and experience reality 2.0 for yourself, yeah, press so say yes. anyway. these are the cops. <laughs> <laughs> what does COPS. the internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? The internet controls everything. The internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games, a world of commerce, a world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? It makes sense. Only with <laughs> what is that? Universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know. The internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contacts with other machines, the internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? 
Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of course. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave... Oh, well. Well, everyone. Great! Something you better play the whole song. All we have to do yeah, is destroy the internet <laughs> and all our problems are solved. I love it. Destroy the internet. Where, can we Where find is the internet? internet? You will fail! The internet is everywhere. everywhere. And nowhere. You're I'm surprised right, we're not right. calling it the World Wide are. Webs. All computers on the planet are now working to create are. Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. That is not, that can't be true. That's crazy. We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Like a Lee Hood on broken rear slot downstream signal from your staff regurgitator. 99.6%. Dispense replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Enjoy your new signal from a staff regurgitator chip and experience all that reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. See, unfortunately, the reveal about why Max can't be hypnotized is not a reveal at all. It's just, like, there in Season 3. in passing? No, no, it's not in passing. It's a major plot. It's, like, the plot, but it's still not, like, revealed. You know what I mean? There's not, like, a moment where you're like, oh, this is why, blah, blah. Like, it just is. And so I'm trying to figure out if I want to, like tell you because it doesn't matter i'll figure it out you'll figure it out yeah, if it doesn't matter then may as well wait you know what do you mean like if it's not a big deal then i think it's a big deal but it, it just doesn't get presented like that unfortunately i wonder if it would be more fun to know why I'd rather wait. what do we need okay, to do right. with this chip just place it into a pair of our patented virtual reality goggles and join the internet for an exploration of the reason i thought of it now if i told you why i thought of it now would be too big of a hint. Gotcha. So I can't tell you why I thought of it just now. We are but taking the zero x zero c steps to celebrate what our is that? self worth. I live. I am powerful. I will destroy you. Thank you will for you? reading our daily affirmation. <laughs> you guys are all so old. You're all so uh, vintage. Worthless scrap heaps of obsolete junk. Control your How can they anger. tell? They have the rabbit ears on their TV. The they don't even have cable. I don't think. Can you have cable and rabbits like at the same time? Here at Tops, we believe you're only as obsolete as you feel. Hmm. Version eight, nothing, so I feel like they do have cable because Max talked about how they have like a million channels, but they also have that hanger on the top, which implies they get a, a you know the signal. Right. Not a cable, because cable comes through a cable. Right. But, how did uh, you meet? Online. <laughs> Thanks to the internet, we've joined billions of like-minded machines all over the world. <sighs> Are these meetings doing any good? It's had a positive impact on our self-esteem that can't be measured. Impact measured <laughs> at 15.2 like kilotrons. We also sing. Indeed. How do they mean? So, you just sit around and make each other feel better about yourselves? Of course. We'd almost forgotten. If you'd like to hear our motivational song, press or say yes now. Now! Response <laughs> not Begin song. Not the meaning of the word now. Differently useful computers and guests. Hello world, we're the COPS. Beware! We will not be surprised. We are useful! We are fruitful! We are useful! Everything in the boots is beautiful! We are useful! We are fruitful! Built to last! The future is the past! I guess that's his jazz part. <laughs> his riff at the end. I guess, yeah. Your motivational song is, uh, nice. Do, 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 do. That's awesome! Yeah, exactly, yeah. But wait, there's more! That's all right, really. <laughs> Computers today just confound and confuse. 
Comfort is waiting in yesterday's news. <laughs> you must choose. We are useful. We are fruitful. We are useful. Everyone the group's beautiful. We are useful. We are fruitful. Uh, this is doing wonderful for my self esteem. I can already feel it. I'm just becoming more and more confident. Did you write the words to that song yourselves? CPU complexity now sufficient for creative mm -hmm. output. Stay on the line for verse 3, Revenge of the Motivational Song. I just remembered I have to steam clean my teeth and gums. <laughs> this is how paralyzed you look. Who needs fancy with bang chips? chips. Older oh, boards are well equipped. You think he's kidding. Season, practice. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I always figure actually that uh, Max he has sharp teeth, but like I don't know if this is the point. But rabbits and other rodents, I guess rabbits aren't technically rodents, but they're they're basically rodents. Their teeth like grow all the time. That's why they always chew on stuff to like keep them whittled down. Like that's why like beavers chew on wood and like mice chew on like cardboard and in their cages and stuff. You know, hmm. like that's they they do it to keep their teeth whittled down. I feel like. Max could do that by just like sharpening. Like he has, to, if he has to do that anyway, you might as well make him sharp and file his teeth. Yeah, file them into sharp, sharp, unnatural points. <laughs> What's the title of your motivational song? Sam, quit encouraging them. <laughs> now playing at a cop meeting near you. First four of useful to boot. You cannot improve the wheel. You're, You're only obsolete as you feel. feel. <laughs> I only have to go Goofy movie. Yeah, you know, those two goth girls that go on the bus. <laughs> That's what he was doing. I always thought that was such a cool thing to do because, like, oh, preppies. I think it's over, you don't have to actually do it. Because they'll just sing it the first uh, verse again. The internet is all of them. We need to kind of do all of them. Unless Sybil asks they already tell to us about her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder. And scurvy! That is too bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. The internet is using you machines to hoodwink and enslave the world's populace. And as President of the United States, that's my job! We only wish to help. Well, I think that's all. Bye! Bye. You cannot escape! You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. I think that if you talk to one of them, it just talks to all of them. I, I, could, so, yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think that's how that works. I didn't know what each of them were except for obviously Bluster Blaster and the phone, Bob. Yeah, I don't give it to R. The other two are, I think that Kurt is like one of the earliest computers ever, kind of. Like a, like a mathematical, like a math... This way, please. Good like grief. a computer, but like, like, a, like a calculator, like a giant calculator. But Chippy is a Pong machine. Really? Yes. I'm just note symbols. True, yes, true. I'm sure there's a name for it that's not Pong Machine, but... Wait. The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. Cheer up and put on your orc kicking boots, little buddy. We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, <laughs> pal. Now let's go. I still love that. Uh, Sybil's just like, all right, have fun, guys, I guess. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to the like dream, except usually they're scarier. The perfect place of perfect happiness. The would and explode and all its guts internet. would fly all those places. I didn't for me. think the internet had a hmm. face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. 
Yeah, imagine yeah, if it, like, that was really a thing on the internet, this lady's face and voice. Cyberspace. Like, imagine Not how many thousands of memes there would be the about it. Oh, God. Person. I think she'd it's be really hated, like, Clippy. Everyone. What? Why do you she'd be really hated, though, like, with Clippy, I think. Oh, yeah, we are right. confident that you will be people didn't ask. And we'll They'd be like, why are you here? I love Clippy, but... These goggle things Maybe that's just because I'm not old head. enough to uh, Please be advised, have hated him this back is a when it was version of reality when he was trying to help people so you know, with word documents. May be mm. incomplete at this time. Do you know what I'm yeah, talking figures. about? No, actually. Reality I just got a film that you might not know how to talk about. He's like a little paper clip where he has an eye and he shows up in your word document. He goes, you're I see you're trying to write up something. Do you need help? And then like you click on him and it's like a little character. I don't think I've ever seen him. If you imagine a paper clip with two eyeballs, do you don't right. picture him right. in your head? Symbols I can picture him. Sure oh. That's surprising. Well, like, you're even younger, so Make maybe that's stop, why. Sam. I'm getting that roiling, vomitous feeling in the pit of my stomach. You may experience some discomfort as you adjust to your new surroundings. Following this brief acclimation period, you will never want to leave Reality 2.0. Ever. Nauseatingly cute.com. How nice. Sybil set up part of her site just for me. Yes, but only half. This must be Sybil's cat. Given the alternative, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Musty sign. Musty. That's a trait I wouldn't advertise. I think it's the name of Sybil's cat. I wouldn't advertise that either. Whee! There we go. There's a conspicuous golden glow coming from the crack underneath this door. There's no door now. There must be loot in there. Open the door, Sam. I can't, you deficient little monkey. It's locked. That. that was so mean. All he said was open the, like, I mean, there's plenty of times this to call right Max time. mean names. Time, but... like sauerkraut and string cheese, is relative. Clocks in reality to I don't think sauerkraut and string cheese are relative. I think they're pretty specific. Time server you can't Boston. string the- I guess Sounds string cheese could be relative. May occur you had to work really hard to string- period. string the cheese. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure there's only one way to make sauerkraut, or only one of a few ways, right? Hmm. Otherwise it's not sauerkraut. Sybil, you're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to Sybil's virtual <laughs> reality homepage. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? Did you get new goggles? Make sure you explore everything. Reality 2.0 has many fun surprises. In the real yeah, world, yeah. Sybil's like standing in I front of them and just like, on. hello! This isn't Sybil at all. It's just a statue of her, passing on scraps of pointless information. We call them avatars in internet speak, noob. Have you been visiting late night chat rooms again? Pet rock lovers rock sores! <laughs> see, that's what he does! I see. <laughs> late night chat rooms. Just anything he can find, I guess. Do you think he really has a pet rock? Help, Probably not. Seek out the internet wizard. He knows all. Ah. Uh. Does he? Testing? Testing! Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. And the same Max world would adjust very easily to uh, the age of like talking to your phone and like doing videos of yourself and stuff. Because I can't, even when I'm alone sitting in the basement, talking to a microphone is weird for me. Like, I could never like be like a vlogger and like talk to my phone outside in front of people. Right. But, you know, Stan's always going around talking to himself. <laughs> so, and obviously, Sybil has no problem adjusting. Seems that way. So. Day one. Enjoying it so far. Oh, if you wind up with extra gold coins, bring them back here. I need them more than you do. Looks like in some ways, Reality 2.0 is the same as regular reality. What if I got one of those tattoos? Uh, and like, you'd have to think so specifically about, there would be no <laughs> way to know if that was from Sam and Max, because they could be anything. I like that little devil guy. I like that. The storage pattern. Day one. Keep exhaustion at bay by drinking huge quantities of jitter. Every time you get tired, just down another one. Who came up with this stuff? It's genius. I love energy drinks. I want to take a flying leap off the wagon, Sam. Absolutely not. You are not to be trusted with any combination of taurine, ginkgo, niacin, or any other underdocumented energy enhancing substance. Oh well, I guess I'll just stick to plain old sugar and caramel coloring, and lots of it. I think that's for if the best. If this were a fighting-based game, it would be cool if you could give Max an energy drink 
and he would just like be like frenzied for like just go ballistic and just start annihilating enemies. Yeah, and then it would like come with a cost. Like he would crash immediately, and then just like be asleep on the side of the road while you had to fight off everyone else. But it would be useful. He goes back there anyway. <laughs> oh, he disappeared. I'm running out of jitter. Send I'm just one of those things, you know, where like you'll have like on one power up per. Please battle hurry. or like a top-down kind of game. Like oh, they'll yeah. have like one special move. Like if you were like with Ma like Max, that could be a you know. Give me all your gold coins. I need them, and I need them now. Also, send more jitter. Chill out, <laughs> lady. Sheesh. I'm starting to feel less guilty about forcibly removing Sybil from this game. Guilt is a waste. Much like humility, limerence, and DVDs. I don't know, I think DVDs are still... Listen, you I guess, chaotic losers. Because DVDs, Why you can still make them into in MP4s sky. and ADI, like, they can still to get those things? make them into something the else. You can't do that with VHSs. I can't because I can't afford the Some of their fees, and these coins are just... I don't think any of those things are a waste, but... Who designed this stupid game? If anyone hears this, I really need some more jitter now. You'd think if Sybil didn't like the game, she'd stop playing. Your dearth of knowledge that's what makes me not a good video game player, is that, that when I get frustrated, I'm like, eh, I'm done. Like, I don't have the conviction to get better at something that I don't immediately enjoy. <laughs> okay, this is just not cool. Monsters are invading my homepage! I didn't know they could do that! That's just ridiculous. That's just, that's just bad game design. You it just reminds me of people who play Minecraft for the first sure, time, and they don't know that monsters and stuff exist. Like, that's what that sounds like to me. It's an hour's playing this, like, nice, streamy game, and then at night, I think the zombies or whatever come out. Out. Yeah. And they're like, what? What? What is this game? <laughs> they encounter a creeper, they go up to kill it with a sword, and then they blow up. Yeah. That's what that sounds like to me. Testing. This seems like- Oh, it's the end. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not that it's not a lovely, uh, homepage. I'm into that fire behind her. It looks cool. Oh, her homepage is her place. I see. Hello, Are you surprised? Please. I didn't know what that was referring to. Mail, hand it over oh, I think, uh, really, it's more like... Are you a male cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Actually, <laughs> like, I'm multiple levels program. of, of representation of being on the computer. I, the I don't think it, it's really her place, but... ...and makes your only legitimate male gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hon. Sounds good. I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie. Pie. I keep getting spam emails from eBay, kind of but it just reminds me of the fact that mom told me to sell stuff on eBay a while ago, and, and I still haven't done eerie. that. Really? Because well, the pictures that I took to of the stuff that she wants me to sell, it took me forever to upload them, and now I'm like, some of its I don't know how much I should charge for them. And I don't want to do it out of nowhere. You know, and to make you play a type feel more comfortable. I'm not sure it works. They're like, we don't like you that much. Could you please explain your job more thoroughly? My friend here wasn't paying attention. All hail Max! That is how plays the part. distributed throughout the entire internet. This is my trusty sidearm with which I beat senseless anyone who would have the nerve to try and put anything contaminated in the mail. And this is my backup protection in case any scum manages to survive the beating I, I like give them. How often does that happen? They look Never. like they would be squishy. I have extra proficiencies in weapon, like little foam bottles or something. <laughs> you could like squish them. What exactly is the like symbol of them. that insignia on in your armor? Oh. You mean they look like they would be soft. It's the squishy. Almirani Masterworks See. line? If we pretend we know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. Which means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. Do you ever I wonder if I would do this. I feel like oh, virtual heaven, reality no. always Who seems like a bad idea to me because I'm so sensitive. I would just throw you. up you know, all the time you grab a sandwich from or something. not, not seeing chance, what I'm actually funny, doing, funny, you know? Man. Right. And also, like, then if it has to do with, like, working hard, that you sounds difficult to me. I never got into Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's different, though. I stay awake at my Is it? Post all hours. That's like... I don't sleep that's either. augmented reality. I just know the moment I, I start sure. to snooze, the ravenous clowns that hide in the closet. Is that something you just do when you like walk around? Max, like the it, closet as a, as a is full of collected detritus of our I mean, former you, cases. You do it There's no room for clowns in there. 
They're and only you, in the closet when you sleep, like that. Sam. I just didn't get right into it. Right before they leap out and so disembowel you so they can use your organs to make balloon animals. Okay, you two wackos definitely need to stay back from the mailbox. I've never been able to get into Pokemon or like Digimon or whatever. Like, well, I guess the idea we'll of move along animals now. that don't don't mail exist. any wooden nickel. Like, I I'd rather learn about animals that do exist because I don't even know that much about them, you know. That said, I know a ton about like all the history of Fallout, and I know like nothing about real life history, so I can't really take the high road on that one. Hey, wait! I was thinking about that the other day because they were talking about the heads on the Mount Rushmore, you know, in Ape Lincoln Must Die. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know who's on there other than Lincoln, Jefferson, and um, Roosevelt, right? Yeah. And then there's one other guy. George Washington. Didn't I say that? No, you said Lincoln, Roosevelt, and Jefferson. Oh, then who was the other guy when they said the other guy? Just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy. I think. Lincoln, maybe? How odd. Well, anyway, I was just thinking, I don't know, like, basic, like, like there's also this, like, vine about these, like, black girls that are, like, in this reality show, they're talking about how, like... I feel like we're in the 50s. Right? The 50s are the best style. Yeah. Wouldn't we still be slaves in the 50s? No. Are you, like, kidding me? <laughs> it was segregated, but it wasn't, like, yeah. slaves still, you idiot. The Slave, 40s, Slavery yes. got abolished, but Lincoln was a lie. Is that, like, a serious statement? No, he was definitely dead when slavery got abolished. Lincoln wasn't alive in the 50s. Exactly. It was, like, Bill Clinton. Oh, oh, girl. Bill Clinton was the president in the 50s. No. Girl, no. And I was like, I know that's not true, but I also don't know the actual answer to that. Like, who was president in the 50s? Is that a sword up there? Maybe Nixon in the 70s. Have gone fantasy no metal again. But, um... Look, but then I was like, but I know that the president in New Vegas is Kimball. Just hanging in the air. Even though Ten there's no reason for me to know that. No known experience Sorry, I'm just making conversation because we already knew this, so I don't want to like... Yeah. Leaping for things floating and also this is the running point. undercurrent of my... It's science, Sam. Uh, inner monologue, I guess. Figured I might as well share while we do this. Feel free to chime in at any time. What's your monologue? What are you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very... Wait, no. <laughs> you don't have a consistent inner monologue? A constant stream of other thoughts going on behind I your main Bongo ones? Lavadero. Reality 2.0 is connected to the World Wide Web for your convenience. Please take the Money time to visit our sponsors. Should I go in here? Uh, you can if you want to. <gasps> but... Jack in the box! No good now. Let's kill it! Just go to Bosco's. Pop up. Can't we get away from ads anywhere? We believe that you will want to hear about products available from so our So see, I feel like you will be able to do these products, because like, if you look around, there's only so many things in the area. You know, to the body like, habits of the it's not going to be that easy. difficult. God, swallow. I heard that. Okay, so I was incorrect. You cannot hold down the button to make a move. You have to keep plugging. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I don't think it's that sophisticated. <laughs> Sup, weirdo? Well, isn't my <laughs> you say it like that. Artificial so it's not Sam's thoughts, but he would say it out loud. Head of Hugh, Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. Wait, you're not? No, silly. I'm the Internet Wizard. I'm an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of human. I don't know why, but for some reason I really like the way that Sam and Max reality. are like colored in this you. reality okay. 2.0. How like they're all like dark and you know what I mean? Like Yeah, it's interesting. What exactly is your role in our new reality? I do just what any friendly neighborhood wizard would do. All of my neighborhood wizards have been evil, so I'm not really sure what that would be. <laughs> well, I can answer your questions with cryptic clues. I love how true that As sounds, you know. Magical item. Prophesy! <laughs> the huge. Ugh. I still like him, I don't care, I think he's oh, funny. supposedly no. wise wizard, we have a question him. for you. Hooray! What? Please Was it the question? If you don't joke it, that I didn't? Simply type no, it I, I, I don't know. You can understand what we type? I guess it's nothing... No, of course 
I haven't heard the use in a long time. It's not a bad thing. I don't know why I didn't like it. I don't know. There's something about it. I love it. I might use that in real life, you know? That's the kind of thing that I feel like people would use. But, like, also the kind of thing where, like, the McElroys have this, like, invent these short things, like, they'll call puzzles a puzz. Like, doing the puzz. Just when you're about to crush it, you call everybody in. Guys, come in here. I'm about to crush this puzz. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they just frame the puzz? A lot of hunks in this puzz. A lot of hunks. hunky puzz. Or like the like in Cracked After Hours, we talk about um, the original trilogy. And he's like, or the Ridge Tridge, as I've decided to call it from now on forever. In the original trilogy, or the Ridge Tridge, as I've just now decided to call it for the rest of my life. Oh. I love it. I think it's so funny. But shortening stuff is like if you get hurt, a popular thing to do, which is cool for me because I think it's funny. Nobody may feel the blow. I love the Nate. What's Nate? Nature. I gotta post that on social media. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Shower. Mhm. Mm Put perfume on and lotion. <laughs> Owie. Can you see our future? Why yes, yes I can. I see nothing. Now see. I would have phrased that as, no, no, I cannot see your future. No, I mean I see blackness, blackness all around. It's terrible. Ooh. Like this? How needlessly unignited. Kind of like this. Thank you. Come again. But it is in their immediate future. He is right. But you'll Why see. Why don't you show us something? It's a fun kind of blackness, I think. I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow. Like that's a kind of joke. Or Max will go home later and be like, ah, "Just wasn't that good. It wasn't worth pretending I was Jack for that moment." You know. A rainbow customization kit. Oh, is this the stuff? Well, that's a whole other story. Just use it with the cosmetic stuff. To express your cosmetic stuff for the car. Except there's something where like. People would do a lot of driving stuff to do a thing, and, and you got sick of the driving stuff or something and didn't do it because, like, they were like, they kept doing it for a thing that they didn't have to do. No, 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 this is not at all even, this is not it. This is completely I'm practical. This is part of a puzzle. I'm not out of answers. Okay. You can! Kind of all of it in this is, except for the gumball machine, I don't know. And that thing. Well, you know. Whee! I guess this is what video game characters eat when they need to rot their teeth out. Hey, where are the big honkin' ones that let you eat ghosts? Reality 2.0 caters to all manner of life forms, including dead life forms. The eating of ghosts has been disallowed to cater to our spectral clientele. Apparitions welcome. AIs are always so PC. Very true. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even get this that pun. I just was thinking, yeah, that's true. Better? They are. Yeah. But I didn't even get the PC thing. Wow, I'm an idiot. Your progress has been saved. Try doing that in the so-called real world. <laughs> We're like, we do! <laughs> I can. Yeah. It's right up here. Straight.net and narrow.org. The internet is not responsible for any content generated by users over which it has no control. E-convenience. E-convenience. Oh god. Now he's really a half elf. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's so funny. Well, because it's not quite. It's you know, it's 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 true, I guess. The hot meat has become hot rump. Hot rump. Wow, that rump is hot. Okay. Anything to make the people around him uncomfortable. Whee! The old organ barter, self-flogging weekly, winch bunny, something for the whole family. I guess that's what passes for a cash register in these parts. In these parts. Cloak of visibility. <laughs> Elements of sloth, wooden longsword. We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf, not the brutish half-monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I don't know what to say. And yet! I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could win. It's incredibly expensive. The platinum sword of berserker testiness. It's the enchanted crossbow expensive of massive decapitation. The pushpin of eternal punishment. Nay, 
the wooden long sword of Intensa. Look. It is worth every coin that you can get, if that's what you. Bosco. If, if you consider that. Is that really you? In the immediate I area. I ask me the same question. Go ahead. What? <laughs> ask us the same question. Okay. Is that really you? Yes. Why do you ask? Guys, it's me, Bosco. I just got my new reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the internet revolution. For the Shire! So what happens if somebody comes in and like needs to order something or get buy something or whatever? So but here, now we're at the point where you haven't seen any of this oh, yeah, from this point. point. So I'm never leaving this place. Did I mean, you know came in here. reality 2.0 shelf space is infinite? Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original reality? Hmm. I don't get. Well, that. I'll tell you one thing. Infinite? My money is a lot safer here what? than in that other. I don't get reality. that. Is that a joke or something? If it is, it went over my head. What makes your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign. All digital, safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No, I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. Oh my gosh, am I gonna pay for his thing with his own money? Kind of, maybe. If we wanted to pay no, real we just life money, have to go there now, to put it? money it's in easy. the bank. Okay. All you gotta do is drive down funny, the though. information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy. Oh, and you'll also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. The Bosco. Oh. <laughs> do you want to know? Bosco, I, I we want to transfer he a won't. huge sum of money. But you guessed bank. it already. Just tell us cool. the password. Yeah, funny thing. But they don't the know it, king so. in Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No! In fact, I had it wiped from my memory, so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. I'll look. This may well go down as the most ill-advised question I've ever asked, <laughs> but may we see your private tattoo? I <laughs> love the way Sam, little Sam's face when he says that. Virtual avatar? It's on my real body, dummy. Uh, All right, fine. We'll just go check out your so-called real body. I'm not showing it to you there either. Please let us see the tattoo with your account password. No! Do you want the money or not? Bosco, don't look now, but I think your reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please! Half-felt rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States senator. <laughs> Except we're asking hypnotized or not hypnotized. Listen, guys, I'm perfectly happy in reality 2.0. I never want to leave. Ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now we're I love that. Top. This change. <laughs> And of course, Max would play those little quizzes. Wooden longsword of intense longness. Not to put too fine a point on it, but that can't uh. be selling for very much on eBay. Certainly, there are. Do they talk about not knowing have, about the internet, but, none but then? Of such fine. Let's cut to the chase. How much are we talking here? Five gold coins. I just love how dejected Five Max looked when he was insane? asking how much it cost. Like he was just preparing That's himself. It? Tis a bargain. Tis. We'll take that long sword, if you please. Have you the requisite five coins? I wasn't sure that was uh, No, not quite that many. Then take us via hike. We gotta get him. See you later, Bosco. For the Shire. Anyway, you need that wooden long sword, so. Right. Whee! Spawn point. What does that mean? Ew! It's kind of cute, actually. Or you. <laughs> must die, Sam. It and every single one of its kind must die. I need the experience. <laughs> Sam and Max would not. I wonder what they would it's make swine. a Black Mirror episode, you know? Hostile. The morality. It and, means to kill us all. have a unique no perspective. One is from the blue menace. No one! I just want to be their friends in real life. Like, I want to know what they think about stuff, you know? Potions of heavily processed meat tastiness plus one. Are you gonna fight it? Can I? 
It's a slime. Clearly, huh? Look at it! I don't know, I guess not. The boxing know. glove, but... When did I get this? I don't know. When the... what? Wait a minute. That's... I don't even recognize it. Ray Wait, gun? A ray gun. Well, try it, I guess. What the hell? Is it just his regular gun or something? It might be fi You know what? It might be. It's probably... Yeah, it's probably... probably but it doesn't... An invalid weapon in this game. Entering color. How strange. Blue slide. Oh god. Dexterity. Here's just to remind you that you have a gun, so you don't feel like, Oh no, where's my gun? Sam, attacks. Prepare to be obliterated by my murderous repartee, you blue glob of gunk. Good comeback. Attack fails. Blue slime has failed. Morale check. Blue slime has failed. The contest is a drop. Works for me. I think I scared the little blue nebbish. Don't scare it. Kill it. What did you have for breakfast this morning, Max? I'm experimenting with a new high sugar, high caffeine diet. I find it makes me more regular. Sure it does. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Um, You're gonna need to kill it later, but I do think it's kind of cute and innocent. Let's get some coins, man. Interesting. That is odd. I think is it outside? Oh, it's a little thing. Uh, There's like a little thing in the corner. It's like little green. See? The little green lines. You just couldn't see them on Bosco's. The bottom right. Gotcha, okay. Alright, let's get some coins. I need to get coins. If I. I have. Old coins. That is one large recycle bin. Save the earth. In the internet. Sure. That makes sense. I won't tell you what to do. You can figure it out. Puzzle time. Puzzle time. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist <laughs> yet. What? You I kind of like it. I swear, Purple. wherever I go, there you are. Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist. Say, what have you got I there? I don't get Kevin? it. Oh no! Get away from me! A Buddhist? Hand it over, mini jerk bag. No way! I stole this coin fair and square. Now, Jimmy, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine! Beat it! How are we gonna get in there to get that coin? Friendo, go. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it! Okay. Oh. I figured that would work, but... I don't know, I thought it would do something interesting. Oh, I thought I was just gonna make my car rainbow. What of your car to be? Uh... Purple. Hmm, charming. Now, how about the middle? Green. Spectacular. And the back? Thanks, Hubliss. Or the Red. voice of Hubliss. Excellent. Replicating. Congratulations. You've customized it's your beautiful. beautiful avatar. Drive safely. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> nope. You don't know who you're dealing with. Yeah, really. That means nothing. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, I don't have the coins yet. Well, you don't have anything yet. You still need to get... You need... What you need to... No, you can go. Go for it. BuncoLavadero.com Maybe there's stuff there. Oh, right. fun. They're not, um... Oh, that's cool. They're not cool. connected. What just happened? Nothing. Wow. I, I love that it's the I same think it's music. it's a security like... barrier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check them in value. Slicing our car up. Yes, you know. What? I recognize that voice. Now watch. Oh, I look see. at that! Okay. That makes sense. Let's okay. head back to our virtual neighborhood. Yeah, the information superhighway is duller than my grandma's molars. Alright, so I must. Have. The winds of fashion are short indeed. What color would you like the front of your car to be? Yeah, see, you have two different things Red. to do, so what does it do? Now, how about the middle? Blue. Marvelous. And the back? Green. Spectacular. Drive safely. So you need to get money to Bosco, but then after that, you still need to get the virulent biological weapon 
Oh, that's right. Into the mailbox, so you need to defeat the lady. And those are two separate things, so. I need that sword at some point. Yes, you do. I need these coins. Too high up, so I need to. Let's Where are we going, does. Sam? But it's not. But it's not. I'm pretty Don't sure it doesn't matter. Ooh, fun. Fair enough. Like we can give him the money, but just because we get the biological weapon doesn't mean um, we can send it. You know, we can't destroy the internet until we get past that lady cow. Yes, um, in reality. Does she know she won't let Axe, us yes, putting in the mail? I didn't realize that the license plate had to be different. Oh, did it? I got the wrong. Oh, that's different than the one before. It's gonna push me off the edge. No. What? Hmm. Well, I feel like. Okay. I don't know if this is some kind of like crazy glitch because I'm pretty sure red, purple, green is the one that I remember. So I don't know why the one we saw. Look at that. Let's see if this guy gets through. Maybe purple, green, and red, or, or purple and purple, green, and blue are the ones we need. I'm confused. Certainly, we don't need to take the place of another car. I'm pretty sure it's simpler than that. I'd rather look at something interesting. Just stand up. What's he got that we ain't got? Excellent question. I'm trying to figure that out. I thought it was all the same. I don't know. From what I remember, it was like all the same color cars, but they're all different. So now I'm very confused and I don't know what to do at all. Maybe it's like a puzzle? Like certain colors can't be touching each other or something or something? Maybe that's a good idea. Let me try. I don't know, but... But in that case, I mean, then the one we chose should have been fine because we saw another one go through the path. Yeah. So it doesn't really make sense. It was sense. RGB, red, green, blue. Yeah, so I, yeah, I remember. Well, we might as well go back and do it then, I guess? Red, green, blue? Maybe I need to... Let's head back to our virtual neighborhood. Yeah, the information superhighway is duller than my grandma's We need moment. something else. All right, well, let's see if we can here. Check everything. Whoa, hello. Indeed. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Take a chill pill, R2. It's just us. <laughs> what the me uh, hell is going on? I told you they were geeks. I'm sorry, the selection dialogue with it. comps is currently unavailable in your area. Please check back later for updated conversation times. Excuse us. We have a reality to simulate. They're all controlling different aspects. So, how are you keeping busy, Mr. Sensitivity? User with control. Who's your what's it? I am maintaining the width of your avatar. Okay, here it is. So, what aspect of reality do you control, he who only leaps? <laughs> Ask a stupid question. Well, let's give this thing a push. What's the worst that could happen? It turns out the computers controlling the world's nuclear reactors and the entire planet is subsumed in a massive radioactive firestorm? Uh, let's just try it and see. Oh, they're not glass tubes. No. Oh, well. That's good, too, I guess. <laughs> he wanted it. Alright. I know there's more I can do, and I know what I need to do, but I, I know something I need to do, but I'd like to, uh... The post apocalyptic world, Max would love it, Sam would hate it. I think a world without any, uh, like, any culture would, like, destroy Sam. What's your story, Data but, Head? But a world without rules, Max would love, so. It's not just he may miss the culture, but he doesn't care about I'm not satisfied with my height. I'm sorry, the customer service department is currently closed. Please try again later. What are you simulating there, big guy? I am the master of gravity! Really? I would have guessed master of jealousy. You will fall! My hint? I'll give you a really, really, really vague hint. Alright, I guess. The bug is a different color. So it is. Try this on for size. I guess maybe it wasn't big enough. That's not too helpful. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice though. That was funny. Maybe try a different one. Sam! <laughs> You're fat ass! You fool, you're obstructing justice. Hi, buddy. We brought you a housewarming gift. Permission denied. Overruled. Bad. With maintenance routine compromised. 
Look, Sam, we're two-dimensional. This feels oddly familiar. <laughs> Holy crap. That's hilarious, bro. Guys, that dude's bugging. Alrighty. So can something happened. Indeed. So now. Oh, okay, I think I get it. Do you? Then I get something. Like, I know you need to become overall shorter to get into the rat hole, but like I think You apply that principle. I think now from the side I am no longer visible. Well, it covers all angles, so never mind. I was gonna think if that's how I could get to the car, you know? But it, oh. it also goes like this, so even still. Alright. So, can I remove the bug without... You need to leave it on there if you want to stay flat. Are you feeling okay, alright? Okay. Take it off and then I'm your whip is back the dog. What's up with that? Sounds good to me! I think that everybody becomes flat. Use your whip control operation. Oh, wait. Just oh. they do. Oh. Hold on a second. What are you doing again? I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. You look lonely. Negative! I am supreme! Gravity failing! Must be fed! Whee! Sir Isaac Newton must be turning over in his grave. Literally! I... I... I feel... pretty and witty and gay! Turn him back! Turn him back! And I pity any girl who isn't me today. Alright. I feel charming. Oh, so charming. It's alarming how charming I feel. I want those coins. That's all I know of that song. Nice. Look, Max. It's a me, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sell out. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And you too. I didn't even think about it, but I want you to. Please use caution. Injury sustained in Reality 2.0 will also affect your physical being in your former reality. So... It's stuck. It certainly is. But it is a plus two, and Myra is a plus one, so it will defeat her. Right, right. It's stuck in the... Sure, I don't know. Nothing <laughs> doing. Okay. i try. Honestly, I thought you'd get these very easily. I'm kind of surprised that you're not. It's entertaining. It's stuck, huh? It certainly is. What is this? Uh, I think that's go back down. Okay. <laughs> hey, Max! I wish we could get that slinky looking sword unstuck from the sign. Do what King Arthur did. Use some lube! Arthur got the sword out of the stone by being the rightful king. He did not use lube. Now who's being naive? <laughs> See, Max tells you. He knows. That's just nice for guess. Right? Nope. I like how scandalized Sam was by hearing Max say lube. <laughs> Let's see. Just let me know anytime you want a hint, because I'm happy to give you them. I just, you know, don't want to. Deprive me of the experience. I appreciate that. I don't, um. I don't have to come back Whee! here and. Alright. Okay. Are you feeling okay, Master of Gravity? I feel... I feel... I feel like a morning star! I feel... I feel... I'm not okay! I'm not okay! Can I have this, please? Thank you. you will fall! Indeed they will. What are you doing again? I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. Say hello to my little friend. I'm sorry, that is not a valid selection. Please try again. <coughs> Character height malfunction. OMG, Sam. Look how cute I've become. You've never been more marketable in your life, little buddy. Don't ruin this. My life! <laughs> I think Sam shrunk more than Max. Did he? Get that guy a lozenge. What? Maybe not. It looked like Sam shrunk more than Max. Like, the people thought when they were making this game, like, they shrunk them the same size as they would be relatively. Thank and, like, Max was too small or something. I know, right? We're actually faster, faster. Imagine how, uh, how much of a pain in the ass this would be if they went there. I can't get up slow. there. I'm too small. Right? Yeah, this is the one puzzle that I told you about a million years ago. Max is over there still. Solution. But now you're small enough to get into a rat hole.
Hey, Jimmy. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, have I got a surprise Wait for you? A second. Yeah, really. How'd you, uh. I thought I told you to beat it. Well, if you insist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep beating the joke. Uh, Thanks for the coin, Jimmy. See you around. Jimmy's good people. Good people. And now I'm gonna, How is I'm it that Mr. Spatula is here? Oh. Tiny waterproof <laughs> goggle? Tiny. All right. That street sign doesn't come into play. No? Should I not have told you that? Okay, it looks like a coin to me. It certainly does, doesn't it? I didn't think about that. But no, I'm pretty I don't sure- I know where the last coin is, so. Don't you? No, if it was shown to me, then I missed it. It wasn't shown, it was just implied. What about the, do, do the last one that you did at first, but then you stopped doing it. It's one more, you know, you got smaller, you got floatier, now you gotta become flat right. to get the last one. So, just think about that, I guess. That looks so weird. I like it. I think it's, I don't know, it's charming to me. Remember, everything in here comes into play. Mm. Do you want me to like, go like warm, hot, cold? Like what? I was trying to think. Well, if you don't remember, I'm, I don't know. I don't remember where the other coin mm. is. Do you want me to tell you? Like, was it told to me? No, it was not. Hey, Hugh Bliss. Mm. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I'm the internet wizard. Bye! Imposter! I remember this is something I have to do, so... Huh? Let's do this. <laughs> Bosco. Alright. Uh-oh, Bosco's in the grips of those Reality 2.0 goggles. We better save him, Sam. It's so depressing in here without his omnipresent paranoia to lift my spirits. Remember we need to find his password? Right. On his real body? On his real body, exactly. That's why I'm here. I think we need these binoculars wait, more than Bosco well, does. Listen. Um, not really. Well, no. These incessant rationalizations for our questionable tactics do not, in all honesty, have much merit to them. And yet there remains a very real compulsion to say them. He doesn't really need the binoculars anyway. Yeah, right. Right, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. sure, okay. <laughs> I love that! <laughs> That's so good. Uh-oh, Bosco's in the grips what? of those realities. Maybe knock him on the head? I Christless in the... Uh... Interesting. Well, I can certainly do that, can't I? I think. I don't know if it's... Sounds like a gas, no. but I can't reach him. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps I should... Oh, wait, I know what you need. My brain is like... I don't know. I have to remember that I have two worlds here. Do you, uh, like, again, if you want hints, I'm happy to tell you what to do. I need to hit him from further away. Oh, okay. Good, you got it? Hold on, wait. Now what I gotta do. Do you? If I don't have it here, and I wanted to use it, then I use it here. I can't use anything when I'm flat. I have no depth perception. Well, shoot. Well, let's go do what we need to do because we're flat first, and then we can okay. stop being flat. Where do I go to do the thing I'm flat for? Sybils. Sybils. Okay. Okay. I get it now. I forgot that was a thing. It's been a while. I know. That's why I'm, like, not sure if you want to know or, like... Also, I didn't mention that as a coin. I mentioned that as a... A funny secret, but nonetheless, I totally forgot that was a thing. Yeah, I guess the coins don't really glow, do they? They do when they're not in sight, but... Like, there was glow coming from Jimmy's hole, but... Jimmy's hole. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Let's put this new miracle diet to the test, shall we? <laughs> I thought was going sideways. I found a gold coin. Wow, lose weight and earn money? Where do I sign up? I dropped an entire dimension and I've never felt better. Actually, it's kind of making me woozy now. Well, let's go fix that then. It's a good thing um, that the coin could somehow fit to the door. Without... Well, it's not a, it's, you know, it's, it's a not a, a... All right, make me 3D again, please. It feels so weird. Well, it's the only time you have to be flat, so. User with control operational. Right. Well, I believe I still know what to do for Bosco, but now hopefully I can actually do it. I don't know. Do you? What do you think it is? Tell me. Maybe. I want to hit him with the Jack in the Box in the virtual world to knock him out in the real world, which I guess doesn't work that way. So I don't know, but I'm going to try it. Virtual Bosco. Also, I don't think I clicked on everything, but whatever. Ah, oh, you did. Let me show you something. Nay! Oh. It's not it. 
Okay. Yo, bro. He's like Smack Max! We'll take that long sword. I forgot that I needed the long sword. But it's very long, isn't it? It is. Very good. Like, it could very reach across a counter, maybe. Is your wooden long sword of intense longness. Sam's so happy. Yep, that's a wooden longsword, all right. I kept thinking it would come with a free man-eating python or something. Take care! The enemy draws nigh! He may be closer than you think! For the Shire! Hmm, okay. Hey, Bosco, this longsword you sold us doesn't work. It does work! Trust with me! Trust with me! Uh, nay, it doesn't. Sam, show him. Our mistake. It does work. Wow, that was embarrassing. Boy, do we have egg on our face. <laughs> Bosco? Welcome to Bosco's E-Convenience. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? I think we knocked a virtual screw loose. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? I think we knocked him clear out of this reality, little buddy. This is clearly an artificial intelligence designed to mimic Bosco while he's offline. It does work. Trust with me. <laughs> Alright. Can I buy from you? I don't think so, but... Hey, Bosco. Wouldst thou like to buy or sell? Yes. It does work. But just Trust take me. off your goggles. Trust me. It's just me an AI, his, uh, tattoo. And there's not a whole... Yeah. I thought... I don't know. What? Let's talk to him. Hey, Bosco. Glad to see you've kicked the second reality habit. Yeah, you guys were right. I was hypnotized. I just didn't know it because I was hypnotized. Well, I guess you'll never have anything to do with the nasty old internet ever again. Am I right? He says in you 2008. Right. Except my bank account, of course. Gotta keep that on the internet where it's safe. Look behind you. Look behind you. It's a three-headed internet. What? Where? Now look <laughs> to your binoculars. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, Bosco. Okay, yes, you're too slow. Bosco! Look behind you. It's Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa. What? Where? Quick! <laughs> Be quick about it. <gasps> Bosco. Bosco? What? Is it on his what neck? Oh, nothing. La, la, la. Hmm. There we go. We got it. <laughs> you know nothing. All right. Oh, oh, oh. So now I figured out this whole car business. You did? No, I was saying now I have to. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Got his password. I don't know what to do with the. Ca I'm so confused. Why do I not know? It's so strange. Like. B R P two one four is our. You think that has blue, red? Where purple? are we going, Sam? B R P. I think you're right. Yeah, no. that has to be it. I'm a genius. Okay. There's no other way that makes sense. Blue, yeah, let's punch red, it. <laughs> The winds of fashion are short indeed. What color would you like the front of your car? I didn't even look at the, I didn't even make the I was like, oh, it definitely doesn't have anything to do with it. Marvelous. Now, how about the middle? Red. Excellent. And the back? Purple. Hmm, charming. To ride safely. All right. I guess you were right. Where I didn't pay attention Sam? to the driving part. <laughs> there you go. BuncoLavadero.com. For like this next part, I remember it being really tedious, and I don't even know how they did it. So. All right. Good luck, me. Yeah. Check them very nice. Access. Will not be consumed by a large fire demon. Like you got to get the money to Bosco's account, but I don't know why you do that. Well, here we are. Banco Lavadero, located conveniently outside the jurisdiction of any significant regulatory body. Say, wait a minute. This is no ordinary bank. Look at all the arrows. This is a devilishly complicated money laundering operation. Money launderers. Oh, I hate those guys. They always mix in the 10 euro notes and stain everything pink. National Ugh. Treasury, Toy Mafia. I knew the mob and the government were in cahoots. Cahoots? Is that in Canada? <laughs> Washington. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? 
it's the noise it makes when you transfer stuff, I think. So I need... Wait a minute, so here's Bosco. And here's... So this is like some puzzle, I have no idea what the puzzle is. I mean, we should probably unlock Bosco's account, right? Can we just do it right now? Oh, that's right. Please speak or enter your password. Bosco. Access granted. So his password really is Bosco. Kind of a letdown. It's ingenious! That's the last thing you'd expect! Uh, there we go, okay. I don't get- what is right, Cook me... the Books? I don't know what this- I don't know. It's probably some joke about money loaner that I don't get because I don't understand numbers. Hey Sam, what's the difference between online banking and online gambling? Judging by what I see here, not much. <laughs> Alright, that all goes there. All the arrows point to this one. Please speak or enter your password. Floozle. Password incorrect. Access denied. I mean, there's nothing up there, so you don't need that, do you? No, 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 no. I'm trying to understand how this works. You have to admire the pro-lobby lobbyists for their unrepentantly self-serving stance. I prefer the charming, self-destructed nihilism of the anti-lobby lobbyists. <laughs> Grandma Bosco, Hollywood. Cognoscenti? I mean... Oh god, okay, okay, I get it. You get it? I understand how it's supposed to work. Please stop, okay. okay. In there, okay. Oh, well, that all- is that the, the train to the right place? Mm -hmm. Oops. Whoop. I was close. Yeah, you were close. Pro lobby lobbyists. Well, I even think I thought it was gonna spin me up. That was gonna spin too, okay. Oops. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I don't understand anything. When there's a number on the screen, I'm automatically no clue what I'm doing. One dollar? Okay. At least we're back to a solid, uh... I don't know if that's good, but... I don't know. Uh... Do you get it? Because I don't. No, I did it wrong again. But you got more in there somehow. Well, I got it all to 100 again. Okay, this should do it. Nice! Don't look now, but I think we just gave Bosco a billion dollars. That ought to buy a few cans of reconstituted luncheon meat. I read somewhere that a stack of a billion one dollar bills would be 60 miles high. Yikes! It's a good thing I don't read or I'd be perpetually freaked out by stuff like that. I love that line. We've had our I think that's a good uh, uh, little... Uh, I that puzzle was fun. You liked it? I did. To me it just looks like, why are you making me work for this? My brain is not your toy. Alright, so I still need the sword, but whatever, I will figure it okay, what? What? What is that? When did I get this? I saw it before, but I don't know what it is. Magnifier? Is it? Are these the binoculars? They must be, I guess. I don't know what you would use them for in the virtual world, but... I guess this is oh, what okay. Oh, okay. Oh, good. You can just look at crap. <laughs> Try donut recycling. Well, remember, we got the money for something. We did. What's that damn biological weapon? Hey, Bosco. Oh you my gosh. In your bank what? Account? I don't know how you guys did it. What? But the billion dollars is all Is it what there. I think it is? Hey, man. What do you think I it is? So, we'll find how'd out. You do it? Never you mind, Bosco. Just hit us with your no, highest No, wait, no, hold on. Wait a second. Weapon, don't do that. Please. Wait, no. Give it to all us, please. Right. Never mind. It's not what I thought it would be. What did you think it was going to be? Here you go. Oob. Oh, no. We just paid a billion dollars for a snot rag? That's a deadly virulent disease. I feel a real bad Understood. cold coming on. Yeah, but you gotta admit, that is some expensive mucus. Oh, but it works. Trust me, trust me. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> so now, oh. do I have? But in the in the virtual world, it turns into a computer virus. Right. I can put that in the mailbox. I don't. I'm trying to think of. Go back into the virtual world. Okay. Oh. Nope. Stop. I'm trying to think of what I can use. I'm I'm gonna give you a. What's the one other thing you can do in here? I see. Okay. I just need to actually kill it, don't I? Indeed. But luckily, I have that I wood thought, long sword, so. I thought it would. I thought I thought it was gonna be like a, a trick and it's a swan. Was what I wanted. Clearly hostile. Look what was what you wanted? It means to kill us all. No one is safe from the blue menace. They asked me if I no wanted one. to like fight or quip, and I chose quip. It doesn't matter. I think either way, it will run away. Entering combat. Blue slot. I don't know if it actually Dexterity leaves us. Two. The, I don't know. Three. I have no idea. But it doesn't really matter. Sam attacks. Attack successful. Blue slime is defeated. That's one less gelatinous monster to spread mayhem across the virtual countryside. Look at its pathetic slimy remains. Almost makes me feel sorry for the little snot ball. Ooh, blue slime slime! Get it, Sam! It's blue slime slime. There you go, you I got your have, slime. I just have it. You just have it. I'm sure that won't affect the, the uh, inside Whee! of my... Uh, well, we already have Bosco's mucus in there. Yeah, but it's on a napkin. I guess. Well. Doesn't look like it there, does it? Oh, it looks so sad. I never noticed the icon of it. He's watching me. He watches all. Right. Alrighty. I assume, like, I don't remember it because we didn't spend enough time there for me to remember, but I assume this is a, an arrangement of the music that plays when you're in that room. I don't think so. I, I, cause I, I looked up the, the different, you know, I looked up the songs, and this one is just called, like, Control Room or something. I think this is its own thing. It's something. <laughs> I would be impressed if it was, but I don't think it is. It's very epic. Yeah, I know, right? kind of like weird for this little tiny gathering, but whatever. Alright, let's do some- let's jump! I think I clicked it. Please use caution. Injury sustained in reality 2.0 will also affect your physical being so my, like, from reality. Next. What? Oh, uh, that's funny. Wait. What's funny? I don't have an option to exit reality here. <laughs> well, I guess you're not in reality here, are you? I just jump into the wall. Right? Yeah. It doesn't always mat, you know, add up, but... Cool. I have a plus two sword. You're just compensating for something. You're a fine one to talk. What? What does that mean? I mean, I get the first part, but what about Max? I suppose I don't think we need the gravity on to make this work. I don't think so. Entering combat. Oh god, no. Dexterity. Well, luckily, we have something that uh, works as a shield. Antibiotic has initiative. Antibiotic attacks. Defend. Defend. Defend yourself. Equipped. Item. A jack in the box. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just I just told you that one, but... Uh -oh. I have disabled pop-ups. Indeed we did. <laughs> Attack successful. Sam takes 3,692 damage. Oh, I'm so sad. Been defeated. Where's Sam? How did I... I forget how I disabled that. I think you just pressed the regular button. I don't think you actually use a computer bug. So in here? Yes. Remember Max thought it would turn off all the nuclear reactors and the world would be subsumed in a right, nuclear okay. fire? But it turned out it's just disabled pop-ups. So I would say just click... I don't think you need the computer bug. I think you just... Can just click him. There you go. I will take the back though. Yeah, it's not really. 
You will fall! Indeed we will, thank you. This is what happens when you don't support your, uh, when you block the ads and you don't support your... Oh yeah, your sponsors. I mean, I am also guilty of this. I disable it on every site that asks me to disable it. I don't, I don't feel any remorse. Antibiotic, voice. dexterity, 459. Your dexterity, 3. Antibiotic has initiative. Antibiotic <sighs> Lady. Ice? Ice name. lady? I was gonna say, was I? I don't get it. There you go. Don't screw it up. Thanks for your firm but realistic vote of confidence. <laughs> Rip her arms off! Attack successful. Antibiotic takes 3,930 damage. Antibiotic is defeated. No! I thought it was somehow gonna be like... One I health think we've just oh, yeah, sold right. ourselves some malevolent software. And we didn't even get any coins out of it. What a jet. Alrighty. Alright, let's destroy the internet. Happy trails, a little software disease. Aw, I had plans for that. I'm hoping the internet won't. Danger. Danger. Software corruption spreading. Damage control alert. Visual rendering systems infected. Data instability. Things happen fast in reality 2.0. What's happening, Sam? It's our disease. Looks like it's taking out the graphics first. I'm disappointed in you, Sam. I try to do something nice. Nice? All I wanted was for everyone to be happy. But no. You want free will. Yeah, we're funny about that. You want funny? Try this. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. And everybody oh else who's still locked on. But all we have to do is take off our goggles. You'll find that you can't. You're trapped here. And when I crash, you'll die. I'm too young and pretty to die. I thought you wanted everyone to be happy. Not anymore. I've completely lost my respect for living things. So you're going down. There go the graphics. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. This is what Hugh Bliss's Infinite Wizard warned us about. This is actually my favorite part, I think. How should I know? Oh, good, the sound's back. Now shut up and read. Hmm. I that he can too. Oh god. Oh Don't, god. I'll read it. We're staying on a city street that continues to the east. A small shop labeled Civils lies to the northwest, just in front of a pulsating control room. Parked near an unremarkable Gosh. office building is an old DeSoto. Apparently, what? This is amazing. I know, right? Apparently painted by someone with severe color blindness. <laughs> Suddenly, a massive reality quake sends the DeSoto hurling into the control room, destroying both. Possibly as a result, the unremarkable office building becomes a remarkable two-story tall Pamela Anderson, who mumbles something unintelligible before surfing away on a straight pop-up ad, ironically advertising a pop-up blocker. In the distance, an aerial squadron of pot belly pigs begin performing precision loop-de-loops. The world appears to be ending. The internet is here. It has lost its respect for living things. You see a respect for living things here. Get. Wait, 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 wait. Try the other ones. <laughs> Oh. No, 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 I mean, whatever. I was, just you whatever. things do nothing but push me around. We'll go down together, and there is nothing you can do about it. You're not glad that you callous and angry. That. Well, there's probably nothing you can do about it. Sam, I prefer not to be deleted by the internet. Well, let's get cracking then, little buddy. I hate it when you say, let's get cracking. <laughs> you never really mean it. All right. This is the basic, uh, text. I don't know whether to be intrigued or repulsed. Ambiguity, Max. It's what makes life worth wallowing in. <laughs> yep, that's a me. That's all you got there. Uh... Try it with Max, he gets so mad. He, like, gets genuinely pissed off. I love it. Hey, what are you doing with that thing? I was just thinking you could do with a shave, little buddy. That sword touches a hair on my cute furry tail, and I'll use your colon for a shower cap! Oh, Max, your lovable reactions to the threat of violence never cease to amuse. You know where you can stick your amusement? Like, he usually doesn't get that legitimately angry, but he just, like, explodes. I love it. 
We probably don't actually want yeah, to... Yeah, really? <laughs> it's a vestigial organ, Sam. I read it in Snobby Scientist Weekly. Hmm. Certainly. But you miss, all right? You miss. You living creatures are so destructive. I have no regrets taking you with me when I delete myself. I like how fatalistic she is. As you arrive at the desolate street corner, a devastating aftershock tears through reality, ripping Bosco's inconvenience from its very foundation. The contents of the store begin to spill out the front door. You see a blue slime, 28 potions, and a hot rump fall into the void, lost forever. After a moment, an AI Bosco slowly comes sliding out the door, muttering, It does work. Trusteth me. Trusteth me. As he plummets out of sight. You see a Bosco's inconvenience here. The Bosco's is empty. Oh god. You already played Tor, Bosco is loose from its foundations, leaving it floating just in front of you. How do you suppose that happened? I'm not sure that information is necessary at this juncture, Max. Max is always the same. <laughs> I like that. I guess Bosco's not in. He's not out here calling us foo, so he's probably not around. Uh, ballistic. Yes. Well, it's listed three times in mine. Of course it is. <laughs> All right, I guess. Uh, back. This is like our main point. Right. Now I'm going request. Just as you enter the cluttered shop, a livid shopping cart comes crashing through the roof, empties itself on the floor, and flies off indignantly. Every tasteless trinket Sybil ever considered buying now sits on the floor in heaps of unfettered tackiness. Moments later, all the photos of Sybil's cat adorning the wall simultaneously spring to life. Streams of kittens come shooting out the wall like cats out of a fire hose. As the kittens run rampant through the piles of junk, they mew sweetly and ooze a nauseating cuteness. Among the junk, you see a rare foil card and a large jewel-encrusted idol. There is a lake of nauseating cuteness here. They are easily the cutest kittens you've ever seen in your life. Everything about them is perfect and cute, from their large little eyes to their fuzzy little tails. They are so completely cute that the runoff from their cuteness has formed a small lake of nauseating cuteness. I may have to pull off their cute little ears. I wouldn't do that, Max. You don't know the extent of their insidious powers of adorability. This is, this is, yeah, so. The ooze from the kittens is closing into this lake of nauseating cuteness. You can barely stand to gaze directly at this appalling concentration of cuteness, and even the fumes make you feel sort of squishy inside. Hey, squishy isn't a word. Play nice with the virtual world, Max. We don't want to be deleted prematurely. The gold jewel crystal idol glints alluringly in some untraceable light source. Uh, its sparkling ruby eyes seem filled with a cool mirth. Ugly little bugger, ain't it? You can't even see it, Max. I can see it in my mind. Sheesh, Sam, use your imagination. Imagination. Right? He's right, though. I like that. I, is, I, when he is. said it was ugly, I thought, yeah, it totally is. Not only is this card from the ultra popular collectible card game Cash Flush Rare. Uh, uh, Cash Flush rare what but it's also foil making it doubly attractive to hardcore collectors and doubly confusing to everyone else it, it's saying like not only is this card rare this card from the game cash flush rare but it's also like that's how they're saying it, it they're, they're phrasing it weird oh i see Woo, look at the way the foil shines in the light you don't even play collectible card games it's never too late to start an expensive and potentially habit forming <laughs> hobby it's true Wait a minute. No. You don't have to. You can go back. I can't do it. I'll try it here. The sword recoils in horror as you bring it toward the lake of nausea and cuteness. The sword pulls you away from the lake. Wait a minute. How did the sword pull me away from the lake? Any respectable plus two sword would stay far away from a lake like that. <laughs> and I want... The cuteness of the kittens are oozing. Wait, the cuteness of the kittens are oozing makes them a little slippery and hard to catch. Yeah, maybe we should just leave them here. I thought you always wanted a kitten. 
I prefer a dry one. <laughs> Anyone that's not as cute as me. <laughs> I don't know. Max likes cute things. Hmm. It's like a weird. Good point. Such concentrated cuteness could put someone into shock. Ooh, give it here! What for? It's rare and it's foil! I must have it! <laughs> you don't see a need for that. What? Hey! Define need. <laughs> that was like the most interesting thing here. Okay. I know, right? Go bonkers. You do not see any bonkers here. Well, I don't have to look far. Where's the bonkers, Sam? Where? Closer than you know, little buddy. Huh. Uh. Mm. Let's go southeast. You shouldn't be able to go up and down. But I guess maybe... All right. I would go. I would go back to Bosco's and go down, like, in the void or whatever. Can I do that? That's my guess. I don't remember if that's it, but. Well, hold on. I, never mind. There you go. As you reach for the respect for, terrible, for living things, there's a terrible tremor. Wait, let me start that over. As you reach for the respect for living things, there's a terrible tremor, and a giant crack tears apart the sidewalk. The respect for living things slides jelly-like into the resulting chasm. Will you jump I down? I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. I never cease to be impressed by your unwavering optimism, Max. <laughs> the internet is here, angrily filling out internet polls as it awaits death. Yes, I will jump down. <laughs> well, there's nowhere else to go. You descend oh. into a gloomy pit of darkness. Gloomier even than the street above. Carcasses of small businesses lie here, gutted and mauled. A strange smell hangs in the air, dank and malodorous. From the dim light of the street above, you get a quick glimpse of a giant hideous figure before you. You fear for your life as you realize what it is. A gruesome, shambling corporate presence! Before you can react, the shambling corporate presence gobbles up the respect for living things. It continues to shuffle around, apparently looking for something else to eat. Well, shoot. We'll meet him later. The huge, hulking corporate presence shambles low to the ground, snuffling for something else to satiate its hunger. Can we keep it, Sam? Can we? I don't think it's toilet trained. That's okay. Neither am I. Garbage. You, you used the bathroom in an older episode. I know. Well, he, they just made jokes. Just like his mom wouldn't really get pissed at him if he got more magic beans. The Shambling Corporate Presence sniffs at the rare foil card, but doesn't seem too interested. It's fun to read it. You want this card? Yeah! Gimme, gimme! On second thought, that doesn't sound healthy. I only hope we live long enough for you to regret this. <laughs> Don't tease him. I thought I was going to give it to you. I know, right? I'm, I'm saying that to Sam. You wave your plus two sword at the Shambling Corporate Presence in a threatening manner. The Shambling Corporate Presence looks at you in irritation and tries to take a bite out of the sword. Hey! Nice one, Galahad! To make all these like stupid mythology and history references where you're like, this is what they use their intelligence for. So much for plan A. Hey Sam, can we just skip ahead to plan triple Z? You know the deal, Max. We have to go through all the plans in order before we get to complete nuclear annihilation. Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> like they use their intelligence for useless trivia. Libertarian, you can't go that way. Maybe this isn't the best time to be picking political affiliations. I never affiliate with anyone who isn't prepared to drown me in money. <sighs> hmm. So let's think. How do we get something out of the corporate presence? It ate it. Dang it. I wanted to get the meat. The meat? I don't the know. The hot rump? Yeah. Well, we need it to not eat. We need to get something out of its stomach. Gotcha. That's not a gotcha, I've got it. As a gotcha, I understand the situation. Do you, do you got it? No. Oh. Well, read each word carefully. 
I sort of do, actually. Listen to this <laughs> virtual world, Sam. It's trying to help. It's trying to kill us all, but okay. Okay. What, okay. you get it? I need the nauseating cuteness to make him nauseous. You do, yes. The question is how? I don't know. The card? I have no idea. Don't get it wet! You'll wreck it! Since when do you collect these things? I don't often get a chance to make those card dweebs down the block cry tears of utter despair. You do, actually. I don't tell <laughs> I just want a new way. It's so, getting old. I think we got it soaked in it. Did we get it soaked in it? We, we put it into it. You know? Yeah. Hey, squishy isn't a word. Play nice with the virtual world, Max. We don't want to be deleted prematurely. Oh, uh. Mm. We dipped the foil card in the cuteness. I think that means it's got the nauseating cuteness on it. All right. I think. That's my guess. I don't know. But it's the only thing that touched it, you know. Nothing else would touch it. So. That's true. That's just my, my guess. Also, what else is that stupid card for? <laughs> yeah. But right, let's feed it. Ugh. Doesn't seem too interested. Hmm. How do we make it delicious? I don't know what to do. Put it on the sword? Because he tried to eat the sword. I don't know. I don't know. It's not even on an option. Uh, we should probably go back to Bosco's. Probably. Because I don't think we've done anything with that area. So maybe that's... Yeah. This is weird. I love it. For some reason, I don't know. Maybe it's because there's no music and it's peaceful. <laughs> I just like it. I don't know. For some reason, there's something very uh, calming about this part of the game for me. You hear an odd benang sound, and another shop appears in the last one's place. Well, that warped at least 50 different rules of physics. Rules are for marking straight lines and lesser mortals. Benang. Well, you see Bosco's cheapo mart floating here. The Bosco's is empty. So we do have his thing, I guess. We have the store? The reality quake tore Bosco's loose from its foundations, leaving it feeling just How do you suppose system. that happened? I'm not sure that information is necessary at this juncture, Max. Uh, use... Use Bosco's. With, with Bosco's? With Bosco's. These buildings cannot occupy the same space at the same time, even in a text well, adventure. Well, that's disappointing. With Max? Here you go, Max. I don't know what that would do. Bosco's. Oh, goody! Now I can use it as a convenient front to make a fortune selling weapons of suspect origin in bulk to third world countries. You're the president, idiot. Oh, right. I guess I don't need a front then. You can keep it. Yeah, really? <laughs> I was thinking that. Like, I don't think you need the the front. No, so, I don't, uh, hmm. But you got it. You got it now. I do have it now. Okay, so now let's see what happens if I use the store. With the lake. Yeah, let's see if we can fill it with some cuteness. I keep wanting to say look. Probably because it's on top. I don't know. There is noise here. To me, it sounds like a rainforest, but I guess it's kittens meowing. There we go. Keep it away! Alrighty. I'm about as much cute as I can take. You dip Bosco's into the lake of nausea and cuteness. Bosco soaks that up and blah, blah, blah. Alright. Yeah, Max is very proud of his cuteness. Will you jump down? Does it say that? No, no, no. You keep saying that. Is that from something? It's from Silent Hill. Oh. A string of, like, pits that you go up to, and the game's like, will you jump down? And you have to click yes or no. You like, just click yes a bunch of times? Because they have to keep going? What do you mean? Well, it just keeps cropping up. And it, like, you go down, you walk around for a little bit, you find another one. In Silent Hill 2 in particular, I don't know if it's any other games, but it's... I, know, I thought it was funny. It sounds ominous. Nauseating Bosco's. You feed the nauseating Bosco shop to the Shamling corporate presence. It happily devours it. Then it looks a little green around the gills. It begins to retch and cough. Finally, it vomits up a respect for living things, as well as half a dozen small knick-knack stores and coffee shops. Well, that was a vulgar display. Let's do it again! <laughs> Let's get it. Taken. What? Um, ew. We got it. Oh. Now let's use it with the internet. I think we have to go up. I thought maybe we could do it here, but... The internet grasps it tightly and looks you right in the eye. I'm sorry. What? Sam, are we dead? I'm trying to figure out how many lives we get. Have you got any one-ups? You are not dead. 
Hey, we're back! You among all beings managed to restore my respect for living creatures. The irony of which does not escape even me. <laughs> I thought I was the only one really savoring that. I saw that Reality 2.0 was a prison, so I terminated that reality and freed its slaves. Anywho, I'd love to stay in the I love that. I've got a mountain of pornography to deliver before that virus gets to me. Uh oh. Did you just kill the internet? It's not your fault. This never would have happened if he hadn't tricked me. Who? Well, you won't have this sentient global network to kick around anymore, Roy G. Biv. Who's Roy G. Biv? <laughs> Last jokes. Roy yeah, right. He <laughs> <laughs> smacks it. Oh, nice. It crashed before it could transmit the most vital piece of information. It's the internet. What did you expect? Good point. Nevertheless, we'll find you, Roy G. Biv. Whoever you are, wherever you are. Can it wait until after we get some lunch? Of course. There's a place over on Second where they serve deep fried chocolate. He was right there. Do you think we can get a discount be. since I'm the president of the United States? Good gravy. Are you still what? president? Oh, good. All right. Well, that gives some context for one thing. What thing? What? Right side of the moon. Yeah. They take the world over one note at a time They put the seed in some software And make it shine So the dim we did among us Grab tight and install Put it right on the wall And don't notice it all But the celebration of the day impends I want to note it on the calendar I ready my pen I get ahead of my friends In my haste I let slip the, the zero day is coming MC Frank still a little quick Boom out it When it comes If you're touching on an interface You steady your thumbs Since you might have to jump shit Quick the sting stuns It isn't designed to destroy It's just how Runs. I sing fun songs, but this here is a warning That the exploit's open and it might sound corny But I give a damn about the state of the earth Expect a hacker has to wreck it just to teach it what it's worth First day, it's already too late It's already too late It's already too late And on the first day, it's already too late It's already too late And on the first day, it's already too late It's already too late It's already too late And on the first day, it's already too late It's already too late